Rayons TV. Hey guys, let me introduce myself. My name is Ryo Ishida. I was born and raised in Japan. I'm a local Japanese food and travel full time YouTuber. Today, we are heading to Osaka Castle Observatory. Due to COVID 19, the observatory was closed until recently, but it's finally open now. However, I believe still there are really less people though. Finally, rainy season is over, so it's much easier to drive motorcycle recently. It's super hot though. Right now, I am in south part of Osaka. It's about 40 minutes driving from here to Osaka Castle. In this video, I will show you guys how the Osaka Castle Park and Osaka Castle Observatory look. Hopefully, I can take nice photo there too. Anyway, let's enjoy Osaka Castle together. So, let's go! Alright, so finally arrived to Osaka Castle. This is usually where I park. As you can see, several motorbikes are parking, right? However, this is much less. Usually, more people are parking. So, this is the Osaka Castle Park. Actually, I'm heading to Osaka Castle. However, I think it's better to show you guys from the station. So, let me go back to the station. Let's go back. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan TV. I'm Ryan Senoko. Alright, so I'm here at the Morinomiya station. Behind this can, you will see the beautiful Osaka castle. Not the whole castle though. So, this is the Metro Morinomiya station, and that's the JR Morinomiya station. If you come over here by train, probably you will get here either JR Morinomiya station or Osaka Metro Morinomiya station. I have over 250 videos, however, still, I haven't made a <laughs> wow, but your pigeon over there. Anyway, so I have made over 250 videos, but still, I haven't made inside of the Osaka Castle video. So let's explore Osaka Castle together. Let's go. Ah, yeah, it's really hard. But as you can see, it's a beautiful weather, right? So let me check the temperature. Wow, it's 35 degrees. Yeah, no wonder it's really hot. You know, the last time when I visited here for the live stream, the Osaka Castle was not opened. But right now, yes, we can get in. But beforehand, you know, I haven't eaten the lunch yet, so I need to grab something. I know there is a Losong, which is a really popular convenience store in Japan. Yeah, let me grab something to eat over there. So let's go. Unfortunately, all the Onigi rice bowls were sold out. But I found something interesting. This is a Kuroi Akuma no Pan, which is a black devil bread. Well, it doesn't look that good, but let me try this. Oh, look at this. It's a chicken breast, plum shiso leaf paste. Huh, it must be good, so let me get this. I also bought the ice cafe latte, so this is how you can make it. Just place the cup and press this button. Yes, this button. Oops, it doesn't work. Seems like the machine was needed to refill the milk. After I refilled it, it started working again. Unfortunately, all the onigiri rice bowl was sold out, but I could get the cafe latte and also some interesting bread. If we walk to the Osaka castle, we can just keep straight and turn left. However, <laughs> you know what? I found that train over there. You know, it's kind of like a long walk. This is a train that going to the Osaka castle directory. So if we ride on this, we can get to the Osaka castle really quick. Oh yeah, seems like not so many people are riding on it. So maybe I can ride it. They pretty much open the doors. It's gonna leave in five minutes. So yeah, why not? The price is 300 Japanese yen. So I think it's a bit expensive, but let me show you guys how it looks like. So let me get the ticket. <laughs> はい、させありがとうございます。お好きなとこ。あの席がね、最初席になるんです。ああ、なるほど。こちらより前でしたら大丈夫なんです。
guys. Yes. I don't have. All right, so this is the train. <laughs> How excited! Right, right on. All right. Sweet. It's not a super long distance, however, sometimes it's good to try the new thing, right? Especially, you know, something I can share with this video. Oh. There is a narration in the train which you can learn Osaka Castle history. Whenever I saw this train, I wanted to ride on it, however, I didn't have the chance. So if you come over here with your kids, maybe you can try this train so that you can see the whole the park without walking. So it's much easier. By the way, you see the place over there? That's the place I parked. So this is the station number two. Seems like we have to wait about a minute. Hi, this train will be leaving shortly, so please be seated. This place is kind of bumpy, so <laughs> take it. It's kind of fun though. Its maximum height is 32 meters. Osaka Castle is the biggest castle in Japan. <laughs> Actually, they are explaining about the Osaka Castle details. Here is an English translation, however, English translation was really simple. But, you know, still, there is some English translation, so it's okay, huh? Feels good. Well, it seems like we are heading to some place, usually what I don't go. This place is kind of bumpy too. <laughs> Sweet, we are about to heading to the Osaka Castle. <laughs> Loving it. Nice, that's the place. I am so happy that I could ride on this train without people. It's such a beautiful weather. I thought 300 Japanese yen, a bit expensive, but definitely it worth it. Loving it. <laughs> All right, so from here, send you to the gold card, which is an electric card. Same price. Next, we are heading to the main entrance of the Osaka Castle. So that's the train that I ride on. Let's say bye-bye to the train. Again, if you walk, it's not that far. And then this is the perfect place to take a walk. So I highly recommend it. However, if you are old or you have a, you know, small children, maybe this will be the great option. Yeah, I'm pretty sure kids will love it. Huh. I think I can have a great view from here. Look at this beautiful sky. I really enjoy this ride, not as a transportation, as an entertainment. Hi, Alright, sweet, arrived. This is amazing. <laughs> Excuse me. This is amazing. You know, whenever I came here, so many people walking to the castle because this is the main gate. But today, pretty much no one here. It's such a beautiful day, you know? It's kind of scary. Alright, so we get to the Osaka Castle. Anyway, it's 4.30 and I still haven't eaten the lunch yet. So let me eat bread. I think it's better to eat it before we enter the Osaka Castle. I almost finished the cafe latte. So let me grab something to drink again because there is a vending machine. So let's grab something. I sweat a lot. Let me see which one to get. I think I'd better to get something like a water or tea. So let me get this peach water. It's 150 Japanese yen. Oh my goodness, I feel so good. Anyway, let me find some place that I can eat. Well, usually this place, it's kind of hard to find a place to eat, but uh, <laughs> today it's easy. Let me see. 
All right, so let's start eating. This is what I bought. It's a irohasu, which is a really popular water in Japan. This one is a peach taste. Also, I got the this, which is a kuroi akuma no pan. Kuroi meaning black, and the akuma meaning devil. So, black devil bread. Interesting. And try to be healthier. It's a chicken. But uh, this is not the regular chicken. It's a ume shiso, which is a plum shiso flavor. It must be good. Ah, tastes really good. Loving it, especially in this hot summer. Ah. Well, so let me try this black demon bread first. But beforehand, yes, I need to wash my hands. Hand sanitizing. Oh, smells like too strong alcohol smell, but it keeps me safe, so. Anyway, let's eat. I'm wondering what kind of taste it is. Oh, very interesting. Well, so this is how it looks like. Definitely, it doesn't look good though. So let me try that. Itadakimasu. Mmm. I don't know. Well, I think it's because of that place I bite. So let me try one more bite. Mmm. Well, I can slightly feel the sauce flavor with tenkasu. Very interesting. Well, I'm not sure this one tastes good or not though. Hmm. But yes, it's interesting. Alright, so next, salada chicken, umeshiso. This is one of my favorite chicken series. Recently, it gets really popular in Japan. Many young people like it because of less carbohydrate. You see the leaves there? Yes, that's the shiso leaves. Itadakimasu. Oh, Black devil bread? Yeah, I don't really recommend that bread, but this one, much better. Hmm, especially it's super easy to eat. You see, I don't have to touch this by hand. Hmm, it is really handy, right? This is the reason why people like this. Ah, feels so good. <laughs> it's super weird. Really few people here. Alright, so that was good lunch. I'm not sure if I can call it lunch or not, but uh, anyway, so finally we are heading to Tenshukaku. Yeah, the place called Tenshukaku. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. So let's keep walking. So usually we can directly go in there, but uh, for the safety, there is a temperature check station over here. So first, we have to check the temperature over here. If you have a fever, you can't get in here. All right, so let's have a serum body check. Hi, sensei, thank you. Hi. Okay, this Hi, sensei, thank And I have to write my personal information here so that if they get the COVID-19, they're gonna let me know. Hold on one second. All right, so. I wrote the, my contact information. So after the body check, we can buy the ticket over here. The price is for adult, 600 Japanese yen. For children, it's free. There is an English translation, so you don't have to worry about. All right, so I got the ticket. Hi, I <laughs> nice. There is a mist. Oh, I can cool it down. Loving it. So speaking of this Osaka castle, the last time I came here was, I think, when I was in high school? Or, yeah, something like that, I think. By the school trip. It's really less people. I remember last time when I came here, I had to be in line to enter the castle. But today, nope. So there is a rule that you can't shoot the video in third floor and the fourth floor. But except that, you can use it. All right, so anyway, let's keep walking. Right now, I'm at the first floor and second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And this is the observatory deck. Anyway, so let's keep walking. 
So let's go. There are AC in this castle and even this is the tiny stairs. It's really cool. So in the second floor, still we can shoot the video. You will see the sign like this. The photo okay. So that means you can take a picture. Uh, let me show you guys how it looks like in the second floor. So pretty much it's not that big. Yeah, there is an exhibition. There is an English translation as well. So if you don't understand Japanese, don't worry about it. And also there is an elevator as well. Anyway, so we have to skip the third and the fourth floor. Let's go upstairs. I remember last time when I came here, there were so many people in these stairs, but today, no more. And this is the fifth floor that I can shoot the video. In the fifth floor, you can learn how they fought. Don't worry about it. Here as well, there are English translations, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, so next, let's go to the seventh floor, the life of Hideyoshi Toyotomi. So this place, you can learn the history of Japan with animation. So it's like this, there is explanation in Japanese, English, and also you can have an English translator as well. When I was a student, I came here and I really like this exhibition. <laughs> Loving it. So that's the seventh floor. Next, eighth floor. Yes, this is the observatory. I guess there should be some people here. Wow, usually it's really hard to take a photo here. But uh, today, as you can see, all by myself. Unfortunately, I'm afraid of the heights, so I am not really happy. But uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely it is interesting. <laughs> wow, look at that. Well, I can't believe no one's here. If you have been here before, you know how crowded this place is usually. Well, I believe this will be my last time to enjoy here without people. Well, I have to leave here at 6 p.m. So I don't think I can show you guys the sunset from here. However, if you come over here in the winter time, maybe you can see the sunset. Well, you see the first wheel over there. That's the Kaiyukan, which is the Osaka Aquarium. I have made a video about the Osaka Aquarium. So if you are thinking of coming to travel to Japan, there are over 250 videos on my channel. So please check my other videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, so it's 10 minutes before closing this place, so I have to take off. So let's go back. Oops, I almost made a mistake because no one is here. There is a stairs up only and down only. So this is the down only. Anyway, so let's keep walking. In the first floor, there is the omikuji. You can test your fortune here. Price is 210 Japanese yen. And also, you can buy the souvenir over here as well. However, there are so many places that you can buy the souvenir, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to take a picture with this gun. Hold on, let me take a picture with this. <laughs> All right, so I could take a picture. Oh, by the way, I have an Instagram account. I usually take a photo and post it on my Instagram. I love taking photos. So if you haven't checked my Instagram account yet, please check my Instagram account. The link is in my video description. I was born and raised in Osaka, so I've been to this Osaka castle so many times. However, it was my first time to experience without people. That was really interesting. Speaking of Osaka castle, I have made a video, Nighttime Osaka Castle Walk. In that video, I explain how to get to Osaka castle from Morinomiya station as well. So if you are thinking of traveling to Osaka, please check that video. I totally understand many people had to cancel Japan trip, so hopefully, 
you could virtual travel to Osaka Castle through this video. Anyway, so this video pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification so that you will not miss my new video and the supplies live stream. And if you like the video, please share the video with your friend. More power to the channel, more videos. All right, so hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe, healthy, and happy. So see you in the next video. Arigato. So bye bye.